everybody! I just got back from my big trip to California for the Bat Stay weekend and Disneyland trip. I am here today to show you my souvenir haul from the weekend. So first off, I will start with what I found at the Bat Stay Black Market. This year I didn't go all out and buy a whole lot of stuff. I just focused more on hair accessories because that's what I'm really, really into right now. Okay, so first up, I found this super cute hair bow at Cranny Yums. This was $10. It's red with white polka dot and then a little skull face in the middle. Super cute. And then I found this supernatural hair bow at 13's Closet. This was $7.50. It's got the Devil's Trap and the Impala on it. Love it. I'm a huge Supernatural fan, so I had to have this when I saw it. And last but not least, like I said, I didn't buy very much at the black market. I feel bad, but it is what it is. I found this at Sweet Midnight. It's a bandana hair wrap. You tie it around your head, the little bow on top. It's in this really cute old monster horror kind of retro theme print. Mm -hmm. I have this print in a skirt. And when I saw the hair wrap, I thought that was super cool. I would wear them together. So I had to get it. And that is it from the black market. On Sunday at the park, if you run into anybody associated with the bat stay and you ask them to take your picture they'll give you buttons so I've got this one from the event this little one got this gallery 999 one another little fun one Found out this glows in the dark. I was on the Haunted Mansion and I noticed it was glowing in the dark. That was my dog snorting. And then a really, really sweet lady handing, was handing out random things to people. And she gave me this. Little... It says, I favor thee. And it's got a little bat on it. A little wood ornament. I thought that was really sweet. All right, next, my Disneyland souvenirs. Got this black and white Minnie Mouse plushie. And she was $13.95. I got... A couple one dollar Disney dollars. Thought they were cool as a souvenir. I'm gonna start collecting them each year. I'm gonna go and get at least a dollar because each year they're different. Uh, got this really awesome Haunted Mansion key. Found this at the little uh, little vendor cart outside of the Haunted Mansion. This was, let me see, how much was this? $8.95. Found this adorable little Mickey hat keychain. This guy was six ninety-five, and then found this little coin charm thingy. It says "Believe in Magic," and then it's got the cutout of Mickey in the middle. And this was a dollar ninety-five. It's called "Pieces of Magic." 
Found this at the, the Main Street Emporium. And then I loved these when I saw them. I'm a huge Minnie Mouse fan, and I thought this was really pretty. It's got the little veil. And then I had them embroider my name on the back. This guy was... Dropped my receipt. $24.95 for the hat. And then another $3 for just the basic embroidery. And then when I was in California Adventures, I went to the Mad Tea Party. And I got a drink in the really cute little souvenir cup of the Mad Hatter's hat. This was $7.69. And it you know, came with the drink. Really good frozen slushy type drink. It was amazing. And I believe that is all from Disneyland. Next, I will show you what I got at this really cool little shop that I found at the Anaheim Garden Walk. This store was called Geeky Mamas. They sold all kinds of comic book related type things in jewelry, hats, purses, belts, aprons, corsets, skirts, shirts, you name it. It was so cool. If I could, I would have spent so much money in there, but I couldn't. I was only limited to these two items. But I am excited about these two items. So I found this t-shirt. It's uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast with the Doctor Who TARDIS on the front. Hopefully you can see that. This was... $23.99. My other goodie from Geeky Mamas. Is this really pretty top. You see that? It's lace on top with a little bit of Star, Wear, Star Wars, sorry, <laughs> Star Wars on the bottom. I thought that was really pretty, and it's in my favorite colors, black and red. This was $34.99, which is actually not bad for this handmade top. I thought it was just gorgeous. So that was my haul from... The garden walk. The last little bit of stuff I got was while I was at the airport waiting for my flight to come back home. I went into the Hudson Group store. It was kind of a magazine, bookstore, kind of drugstore type place. And I remembered my husband said that he needed a new shot glass and he's a fan of Grumpy so I found this really cute shot glass with Grumpy on it and it says Grumpy is my name attitude is my game this this was $8.99 and then I bought this Godiva truffle bar. It's dark chocolate raspberry. So delicious. Love these. I got one to bring home. And that was $3.99 or two for something. I can't remember. It was a little cheaper when you bought two. Um, my last item I got at Express Spa. They gave me this canvas tote for free and then inside is this adorable panda neck pillow. I've always wanted one of these pillows to use when flying 
and I've never really liked the ones that they sell at the airport until I saw this one. You know, I thought it was cute. I like the panda bear, and it's really, really soft and super squishy. This was, I want to say it was $19.95. It was just shy of $20. So, yay! That is it. That is my Disneyland Bat Stay Haul. I had a lot of fun on my trip, and I had fun making this video, showing you all my stuff. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye!